it's because of the way you look or because you're Filipino that you don't have marketable. Yeah, it just yeah. sucks that that happens, you know, and I'm just being real. Hi everyone, I'm AJ Raphael. I'm a singer songwriter. Hey, I'm DJ Rosales from the Philharmonic. And we are reacting to our Filipino musicians marketable. Filipinos love music, but the music hey, industry Trace. doesn't Hi, love Trace. us back. As toddlers, our parents jacket. made us their prized performers of art. Hoy, sampan! I, this, did, <laughs> did you do that growing up? Like with a mic and everything? Totally. But the moment we take the leap to pursue music as a career, our dreams are rejected. Filipinos have to revolutionize the internet just to get their foot in the door. Take AJ Rafael. <gasps> oh, uh, look at that. In its early days, but only it's took you. a million subscribers to the amateur. This is me crying right here, by the way. <laughs> oh. I, I didn't expect to see that number. You know, I knew it was coming. That was big. And then when I saw it, it happened. It took you a while to get there. Yeah, Why do you it really did. That? I think there there may be a lot of obstacles. I'd go strong for like a year or two and then I'd stop, get right. burnt out. Right, right, right. And that's what being an independent musician, as y'all know, takes a lot of like content. Yeah, that, yeah. Knowing that too in, in the Philharmonic, I definitely relate, so. While TikTok stars today can book late night appearances to promote their music after barely singing 15 second snippets, True. AJ, an Asian artist, and his decade of internet popularity has not led to the same results. It is interesting. Yeah. Technology has grown. Mm -hmm. So I'm never going to hate on like a TikTok star getting success or even anything newer than like YouTube yeah. and using different platforms. Although I do think the comparison is a little, it's nuanced you yeah. know there's so many different layers i agree yeah i think that what's interesting is that basically aj i mean you started this whole entire like youtube game for asian americans but just in general when youtube started like you really i felt like pioneered it from the beginning and just because of the way you look or because you're filipino that you don't have like marketable yeah it just yeah. sucks that that happens you know and i'm just being real i like, feel you and not just me and, th and thanks for the props and all that mm -hmm. but jeremy passion you know i yes. think of jeremy and his song lemonade right and like how big it was man if it did play on the radio but then if someone did see that he was like filipino or something exactly would he blow up period we'll just right. never know we, just, we don't know so why can't filipinos sell why are we worth a viral four chair hey, television video but never <laughs> worth promoting yes, a new album is this not a real career for us? It is absolutely a career for us. <laughs> yes. I just kinda... Trace, why do you ask that question? Yeah. No, yeah. I, I think that very fair to ask that question, mm. of course, because we don't see many people like us. Say you have someone who is very good, who is white, mm. and then you have someone who is very good, who is Filipino. Maybe the person who is white has multiple experiences of shows and, mm. and all that stuff. So it's worth it to, to hire the Filipino because yeah then it gives drive and courage to do that thing because they saw that person. That's so true, yeah. You know? I wish I saw more of that growing up. Yeah. So, but I guess we are seeing it more, so. Yeah, yeah, we are. We're, we're a part of that, man. I love that. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Remember the group Far East Movement and their massive hit, Like a G6? The beginning of their career, they were told to play down their Asian identity. Their signature sunglasses look was given to them by their label to seem more ethnically ambiguous. Mm. They were instructed that they would sell more records if they could hide that they were Asian. Olivia Rodrigo, Woo. whose debut album Sour had love the Olivia. biggest open love her. album by a female artist on Spotify. Not a ton of people know she's Filipino. That's true. Yeah. That's always left out. With over 385 million million streams. Good for you, Olivia. Now, we know Good Olivia for you. Is, but conversations around her ethnic ambiguity took over mm. Twitter and TikTok. Whether it's arguing that white celebrities have shifted to look more ethnic or Filipino celebrities have shifted to look more white. What's clear is that it's made it harder for Olivia to claim her Filipino-ness when half the internet is arguing she can count it all. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, it's not her fault that she yeah. looks that way. So if she wants to claim her Filipino-ness, you know, mm -hmm. who's, who's to say that she's not Filipino enough to represent for us. Right, right, right. And I feel that way with a lot of my mixed friends as well. I feel that it's just a complicated issue. Take Jessica Sanchez and Philip Phillips, the finalists of American Idol season 11. Jessica was a powerhouse singer in comparison to Philip Phillips. But Phillips won. Yeah. How mm. many white men with guitars do we know in White guy with guitar. Compared to how many- I mean, don't you feel that like that happened because technically in America, like that is more marketable. So producers are like, oh, easy, easy win. Which sucks, right? It, it absolutely sucks. Yeah. And that's the norm. And that's why it happened, for sure. Yeah. It didn't happen because of talent. Yeah. Now, we're not trying to pit any artists against each other. There's plenty of success to go around. 
But while Filipinos clearly have the talent to compete, the music industry has consistently doubted our ability to sell. Yeah. For every YouTube discovery that has given the world Justin Bieber and Charlie Puth, there was the AJ Raphael and Jeremy Passion. That's so Rock nice of y'all. <laughs> all uh, See, told you. Justin Bieber used to watch Jeremy Passion's YouTube videos, left comments on several of them, DMs and stuff. Charlie Puth went to Berklee College of Music where I went as well. We were good friends for a couple of years. Not that we became not good friends, but he became famous, really go. famous. We actually spoke on a couple panels together. But it is really hard to see comparisons. Yeah. And you're like, you're saying, oh, here's uh, Justin Bieber and Charlie Puth, and then here's AJ Raphael and Jeremy Passion, you know, mm -hmm. like it, it's... Yeah. Can't really do yeah, it. Yeah, totally. But I also love Shawn Mendes because we got to work with him too on the <laughs> Late Late Show. So He's so talented. And we don't want to compare. And like he said, like there's success to go around everywhere. There's space for all of us. Space for all of us. Bella Porch, who created the most liked video on TikTok ever, has yet to book any appearances weeks after her first song. That's but true. That's interesting. Because Bella Porch, who immigrated from the Philippines, has a lot of potential for exposure. The P-pop boy band, SB19, who's already had some number one hits. They're great. Have you yeah, seen them? I yeah, I love them. The I love the word P-pop, by the way. We need to use that more. P-pop. 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 And OPM, though, obviously. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. Whether it's like inspired by K-pop, inspired by hip-hop, inspired by black music, inspired yes. by, you know, all of these other genres. There's definitely space. And it actually starts with us, the Filipino community. Our artists will only be as marketable as we allow them. There y'all are. <laughs> there y'all <laughs> are. Years and our money. Engage with their social media. Stream their songs. Share their music yeah. with your friends, especially your friends outside the Filipino community. Stop asking your family to perform and then not expect them to love singing. And for Filipino yes. musicians, trust your community. Lean into the fact that you are Filipino. Filipinos don't need to reinvent anything. We've been here from the start. It's just time the music industry recognizes it. Trace. That was really well said. That was, yeah, <sighs> preach it. All, all the things that Trace said at the end has been especially true for me about like leaning into my Filipino-ness. I remember in my beginning college years, I'm playing all these Filipino Asian American club shows. Mm -hmm. And then some people tell me, hey, you gotta stop playing those shows so you can get outside of the, the box and mm. stuff. I felt like I had a, almost a responsibility to like yeah. keep playing those shows. And I feel the same way, like just being in the Philharmonic. I realize like we all just really love singing and doing music, but yeah. I think the bigger picture is looking at it like we're never represented in media. And so that has kind of been like a big vision for the Philharmonic. Yeah. And that's why I appreciate just being in that group and yeah. I appreciate you like, oh, just my doing God. what you're doing. So yeah. like Trey said, you know, we need to continue to build that up through community and, and like, be proud. So, exactly. You know, so, wherever we are in our journey, mm -hmm. it's very like, bold that in y'all's name it says Philharmonic Thanks. you know what I mean Filipino yeah and that that itself just your name is is inspiring for others so very cool thank you thank you thanks AJ thanks Thanks one down for having us uh, react to this awesome video yes. and to have some good conversation and discourse about this. I actually just launched a podcast with my fiance, Alyssa Navarro. So and it's on Spotify, Apple, Google um, Podcasts, and on our YouTube channel. So just type in Sweet or Savory Podcast. Oh, also yes. I have a lo-fi album that just came out as well. It's instrumental versions of my old Red Roses song. Red so. Roses. Yeah, it'll never go away. Great album. We're literally doing a song from Red Roses. <laughs> what awesome. about you? What are you up to, Beach? You know, just singing with the Philharmonic. We have a ton of things coming out, and we're just excited to release all of this music with amazing artists like you. So. Yeah, and we're doing a collab. Woo! With so you better watch it. Yes. <laughs>